Mufaro kwa muri varakashi. It's yours truly, Mr. Aquaman. Nichirova Kevia. Eh, Yevanu Matema. Eh, Ndudakuti kune varakashi vese. Vaka nirakasha. Kwa rape irati shia kuno. Eh, and I pa exquisite motors, Naika. Mchawana mkoma na anonzi John, haripanze. Kano tingisa airtime. Mashika ipapo. Moti John. Hmm? Arunako. Moti John. Tawia pano kuzotora ngoro zaka siwa. Maditika, acha kupurati za kuti ngoro yako, ngoro yako, ngoro yako. Motora, moti anga business rema banana. Naika. Kune present worship team yangu. Muno pina mkati. Muno pia wama benz. Naika. Mufaro kwa muri. Hmm. Abana rukudel, ah kunaga. My people, my people, comrades and friends, welcome to another episode of the week with me, Comrade Fatso, and what a week it's been. Chris Muchango got fired, Wicknell was bribing more artists with new cars, and Ostalos was calling everyone a sellout. But first, this. There is something like that came upon you, and you don't even understand, but when you are speaking, you hear the voice of Nelson Mandela coming through you. Yes, that's very true. That's very true. And even people are saying you are now talking like Nelson Mandela. Yeah, that is what they are alleging. So we will interpret the dream. All right. Yep. There you have it. We now know why Job is speaking like Mandela. Because a prophet has interpreted Job's dream. Job allegedly heard Madiba's voice in his Chikurubi dreams. Saka prophet Chiza has told him to ditch the suits and start stacking up on his Mandela shirts. I mean, Job Sikala is going from a cheetah like Mandela to a Martin Luther King light with his I had a dream freestyle. It's just not exactly the I had a dream statement that suffering Zimbos wanted to hear. Less about the vocals, more about the vision, please. Job also claims that he dreamt of late opposition leader Morgan Changirai, who was crying on his shoulders. Sure, I had a job. After Chamisa has spent the last two years tweeting my Bible verse, now talk my dreams. No clear political strategy from the opposition. Just verses, dreams, nima recalls. Ah, we need a break, my comrades. We are tired. The people want a clear political way forward that will give them decent jobs, an economy that works for all, and freedom. And Muruku Tipa my dreams. Ah, yeah. As you come and like a good day one, don't hope it's a way I want to eat. Mamma Dela, a cow ya quantity, much tower and name. They got it depends on a good, you mean Mamma Jacquan Sagutiba. I wouldn't make it a match. Are you in Tower Samandel? Eh? In what Tower Samandel, I should you? I was not going to plan you. Chitanga, what do you think? Mira, 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 Job son Sindela wish. To say that at this time, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Dr. 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 Ah, what is Jobson Sindela? Aye, Jobson Sindela. Jobson Sindela. Jobson Sindela. That's the name of press conference. <coughs> Jobson Sindela is here. Meanwhile, the Hurumant feels that Sikala hasn't been persecuted enough and needs to pop back to Chikurume for a little refresher. So he's been convicted of another offence. This time, he's been found guilty over false claims of police murdering a baby. The only problem is that Job has been charged under a law that doesn't actually exist as per a court judgment in 2021. Yes, that's how captured our courts are. They can literally make shit up as they go along. Job Sikala just did a press conference and he had this to say. This process will be conducted by the representatives of different constituents, constituent bodies mentioned above at every level. The process will eventually lead to the convening of the National People's Democratic Convention the input and ideas that will come from the people will be collected and coalesced by the National Democratic Task Force, made up of seconded persons from different constituent bodies who will be conveners of the National Democratic People's Convention. 
Okay. Yeah, these are interesting times in the opposition. Thanks to the recalls by the fake CCC Secretary General Chabangu, ZANU PF completed a clean sweep in the recent by elections and now has a two thirds majority in parliament by Kenya. ZANU PF can now amend the nation's constitution on its own and can extend ED's tenure beyond a second term. This is what we've been warning about since these recalls started. Thanks to ZANU PF's infiltration of the opposition and CCC's infighting, the ruling party can now do what it wants with our constitution. These are dark times. ED has gone Chabangu Pro Max by firing his former ally, Chris Muchangwa, from his cabinet. Muchangwa, who last year was fired by the war vets from chairing the National Association, had previously also been fired by ED from his post of special advisor to the president. Ah, fire emoji, fire emoji on Muchangwa. Meanwhile, in the junta parliament, ZANU's gold mafia Mbinga, Scott Sakupanya, has been appointed into the Parliamentary Portfolio Committee on Mines and Mineral Development, which monitors the mining industry. However, Scott's Red Wing Mine in Penalonga is under scrutiny after miners were trapped there just a month ago and he's being accused of malpractice. Saka, his appointment makes the accused part of the jury. Ah, these guys have no shame. Ah, no shame, Ja. Yeehaw! It's the text. Us, Ranger, I mean, text you, Ranger, the self imposed Secretary General of the Stingy Men Association. And this year's a leap year, guys. So, yeehaw, Valentine's is on us. Ladies, the men are getting a tax break. Get it? Tax break. So, ladies, no buying drawers, no buying those cheap lotions, cheap deals, and whatever. We deserve a good, nice tax rebate. Or is it? Tax return. Yeehaw! See you this Valentine's, ladies. Thanks for joining us on the week. Follow Magama TV on social media. I've been Comrade Fatso. You have been the people. This has been the week. Thank you. I had a dream and put sack.